So here is the reaction when we are taking our secondary alcohol, treating that with HBr, and as a result, we are going to end up with the tertiary alkyl halide, where the bromine is in a different position from where the OH used to be. So how exactly is it going to work? Well, HBr is a strong acid, so the first thing that we are going to see here is protonation of our oxygen by HBr, making H2O+. And I will remind you that H2O+, is an excellent living group, which means that now our living group can dissociate, making a corresponding secondary carbocation. And here's the thing, our secondary carbocation is right next to a tertiary position, which means that we can do a rearrangement with this hydrogen over here by moving that to the carbon where our carbocation is, making a new, more stable tertiary carbocation. And so the only thing that is left for us is to take our nucleophile, which is Br-, and do the nucleophilic attack on our new carbocation, giving us our final product. So remember, if you have a carbocation anywhere in your reaction, you always want to double check for any possible carbocation rearrangements. Because if a carbocation can rearrange to give you a more stable carbocation, it will absolutely do so. Do not fall into that trap.